From growing teeth inside the brain to seeing strange elongated faces, we bring you eight amazing medical tales. You won't believe what these people went through. Number eight, brain tumor surprise. In 2014, a four-month-old baby boy in Maryland was put through a brain scan after doctors noticed his head was growing faster than is normal for infants his age. They discovered a brain tumor containing teeth-like structures. The baby underwent surgery and after removing the brain tumor, doctors reportedly found several fully formed teeth inside. It was later discovered that the teeth found inside the tumor were normally found in the lower jaw. Further investigations revealed that the infant had a rare brain tumor called craniopharyngioma which can grow to be larger than the size of a golf ball but doesn't spread. However, the doctors had never seen teeth forming inside these tumors or any other type of tumor in the brain. The case provided evidence for researchers that craniopharyngioma tumors develop from the cells that make teeth. After the operation, the boy fully recovered. However, he will receive hormone treatments for the rest of his life as a consequence of his tumor destroying the connections in the brain that would allow certain hormones to be released. The infant's case was so odd that it was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Moreover, the teeth removed from his tumor were sent to a pathologist for further studies and are expected to be saved for several years for more investigations. Number 7. A woman's bizarre craving causes heart disease. A woman's bizarre craving caused her to develop a life-threatening illness. Both before but also during pregnancy, she used to ingest a one-pound box of baking soda a day. The 35-year-old started to feel weak and dizzy during her 37th week of pregnancy, so she went to the hospital. Initially, doctors diagnosed her with an irregular heartbeat and muscle weakness in her legs. But further investigations later revealed she also had low levels of potassium, which was unusual. They began asking her about her diet, but she failed to mention this curious eating habit. She was admitted into hospital and soon transferred to the intensive care unit after developing a rapid heart rate. After another set of lab tests, doctors discovered that she had high levels of creatine kinase in her blood, an enzyme which signals a condition that makes muscle fiber break down and can harm the kidneys. After having an electrocardiogram, the woman was diagnosed with peripartum cardiomyopathy. This means the left ventricle of her heart was dilated which occurs when the heart muscle is weakened and unable to pump blood efficiently. This disease affects one in every 1,300 to 5,000 births and is typically diagnosed during the last month of pregnancy or within five months of delivery. The woman received heart medication and a blood transfusion and doctors induced labor. She gave birth to a healthy boy on her fifth day in the hospital. However, although she was prescribed further medication, which improved her creatine kinase levels, her potassium levels stayed low. Medical staff once again questioned her about her dietary habits and she eventually admitted to eating baking soda daily for several years, allegedly using it as a remedy for hiccups. It was the baking soda which had triggered several metabolic abnormalities that led to her disease. She followed further treatment and while the muscle weakness in her legs had gotten better, she was left with mild cardiomyopathy. The reason she was consuming baking soda was that she was suffering from a condition known as pica, which manifests through cravings for non-food items such as clay, dirt, ice, or cornstarch. Pica is usually most common during pregnancy. Number 6 man left with a fishbone inside his eyelid after a day at the beach. After spending a day at the beach, a 52-year-old man was reportedly left with a fishbone inside his eyelid. He was swimming in the Red Sea in the summer of 2015 when he collided with a school of fish but didn't pay much attention to the incident. However, he later developed a droopy swollen eyelid that didn't heal for over a month and decided to visit his doctor. At first, after the imaging test, doctors discovered a granuloma, an inflammation inside his eyelid that needed to be removed. However, when they performed the surgery, they also removed two foreign transparent tubular structures that were later found to be fish bones. After further investigations, a biologist identified the structures as the jawbones of a type of fish called halfbeak, most commonly found in shallow and coastal waters. The fishbone was believed to immobilize the muscles controlling the eyelid, which explains why the man appeared to have a droopy eyelid. Fortunately, the 52-year-old fully recovered in three months after the surgery. His case was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Number 5. 
Sudoku puzzles trigger man's seizures. A 25-year-old German man had to give up his passion solving Sudoku brain teasers because it began to trigger his seizures. This all began in November 2008 when he was skiing with a friend. An avalanche buried him in the snow, knocking him unconscious for a couple of minutes. He was saved by his friend who was a paramedic. However, he suffered a hip fracture, a ruptured spleen, and was left with muscle twitches in his mouth and legs. The seizures were a consequence of his brain being deprived of oxygen for approximately 15 minutes. However, doctors prescribed anti-epileptic medication to keep his condition under control. The drugs were effective at first. He was put in a hospital for a few weeks and afterwards moved to a rehabilitation facility to recover. That's when he started having seizures in his left arm. One thing he noticed was that the seizures only occurred when he was solving Sudoku puzzles. After further investigations, doctors discovered that solving Sudoku triggered his seizures because in order to put the numbers in sequence, the man was using his three-dimensional imagination. The 15 minutes in which the brain was deprived of oxygen caused the death of inhibitory fibers. As a consequence, brain signaling in the right central parietal region of his brain was slowed down. When solving Sudoku and activating his 3D imagination, the man was using this region of the brain, which was damaged and proved to be the root of his twitches. He eventually had to completely give up Sudoku in order to control his condition. Number 4. Born with a hairy tumor on his eye. A 19-year-old Iranian man's eye tumor, which was benign and present since birth, caught doctors' attention after sprouting a few black hairs. Researchers at Tabriz University of Medical Sciences in Iran were surprised to see hair follicles on the man's eye, as these cases are very uncommon. These tumors, called limbal dermoids, are very rare and can contain tissue normally found on another part of the body, like sweat glands, cartilage, or hair follicles, scientists say. This man had the tumor on his eye from birth, and throughout the years, it developed to be a approximately a quarter of an inch in size. Limbal dermoids can cause vision deficiencies, such as astigmatism or blurred vision. They can be surgically removed, but the operation doesn't result in better eyesight. The Iranian young man also suffered vision loss because of his tumor, but it was the mild discomfort in his eye that made him want to surgically remove it in 2013. However, other people with the same condition choose not to remove it, knowing it won't improve their vision. Number three, man has 28 pound lump removed from his intestines. A 22-year-old man had months, possibly even years, of feces trapped inside his intestines. He suffered from chronic constipation, a rare condition that causes excrement to gather inside the large intestine. Also, because of this condition, his organs swelled up to a very large size, which caused him to appear pregnant. Doctors that operated on him in June 2017 said his intestine looked like it was ready to explode. They removed a 28-pound, 30-inch lump from his body, which was the part of his large intestine that was stuffed with excrement. The reason that he couldn't eliminate fecal matter was because he was born with Hirschsprung's disease. This means he lacks nerves in some muscles inside his colon, making it impossible for him to voluntarily defecate. After the surgery, which allegedly lasted for approximately three hours, he was advised to use laxatives and constipation medicine in order to force bowel movements. Number two, man becomes excessively generous after suffering a stroke. 49-year-old Mr. A from Brazil became unusually generous and had to have his financial life managed by his wife after surviving a stroke. Moreover, after his personality changed drastically, he was unable to resume his job as a department manager within a large corporation. As his wife reported, he began spending his money on children he met in the street, buying candies, soda, and junk food for them. After hearing about his case in 2013, Dr. Larry Goldstein, a neurologist and director of the Stroke Center at Duke University, explained that behavioral changes are actually not that unusual in stroke survivors. Blood clots blocking the blood supply to the brain or blood vessels bursting inside the brain cause brain damage. The low oxygen supply can reportedly lead to emotional changes, usually depression, but there have been cases of pathological laughing or crying or cases of the neglect syndrome where the patient does not recognize one side of the visual field. Mr. A's stroke was caused by bleeding in the brain, triggered by his high blood pressure. The stroke occurred in the subcortical region of the brain which may have affected brain areas associated with regulating normal behaviors. Mr. A also developed depression and was placed on medication. Two years later, he stopped the treatment, claiming he felt cured. However, his pathological generosity remained unchanged. The stroke changed his life. He refused to go back to work, saying that he'd worked enough and that he intended to enjoy life from there on. Also, researchers that spent time with him said he often claimed, I saw death from up close. Now, I want to be in high spirits. Number one. One, eye condition 
causes terrifying hallucinations. A 67-year-old woman went to the hospital in March 2013, afraid she was losing her mind. She complained about having scary visions of odd faces hovering before her. She was so terrified at what she was seeing that days before coming to the hospital, she and her family considered asking a priest for an exorcism. At first, doctors checked for two common causes of hallucinations, drug interactions or infections in the body. However, they were unable to find anything like that. Medical staff asked the woman to illustrate her visions and she drew horizontally elongated faces with large teeth, ears and eyes. Because she was able to recognize the fact that she was hallucinating but could also draw what she was seeing, Dr. Bharat Kumar, an internal medicine resident at the University of Kentucky, immediately found the correct diagnosis. The 67-year-old was suffering from a condition called Charles Bonnet syndrome, which causes the patient to see small people and animals, bright moving shapes, or distorted faces. The hallucinations were triggered by the fact that tissue within the retina of her eyes was deteriorating. This affected her ability to see and as her brain stopped receiving certain sensory signals, it started creating its own input. As Dr. Kumar explained it, the woman was eventually told that there was no cure for her condition and that she had to wait for her brain to become used to vision loss. However, the 67 was happy to learn that she was neither possessed nor losing her mind. Three months later, she came back to the hospital for a checkup and while she was still having hallucinations, they were less often than before. A 2010 study revealed that 10 to 40% of elderly patients that suffer vision loss may also have Charles Bonnet syndrome. However, it's believed to occur more often than it's diagnosed as patients may be hesitant in saying that they're having visions. Fossils from 28 individuals were found in the Colombian Cerrejon coal mines in 2009. Following the discovery, the Titanoboa received the scientific name Titanoboa cerrejonensis. Because of the snake's massive size, several scientists have questioned how the Titanoboa would fare against the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 